All rise. Before you stands a man who made a mistake. My affair with a colleague showed disrespect to my marriage, my family, and my esteemed constituents. For whatever reason, somebody is lying. Was this, as the Crown submits, a violent act of rape? Or was it, as the defence submits, an act of passion? Shame, anger, humiliation should not have the power to convert consensual sex into rape. Anatomy of a Scandal is about a marriage that is thrust into the spotlight when James Whitehouse, a government minister, is accused of rape. The story covers the journey of when the news breaks, um, right the way through the trial, and it's really about the women that are mm. caught up within the scandal. I play Kate Woodcroft, who is a barrister who specialises in sex crimes, and she is brought on to uh, prosecute this case. Could you tell us when Mr. Whitehouse broke off the relationship? It was the 5th of October. I didn't want it to end because I was in love with him. I play Olivia Lytton. She is a parliamentary researcher and she works for James Whitehouse and her world is kind of turned upside down by an incident that happens uh, two weeks after he ends their five month long affair. So we're all fine then? Yes, of course we are. Of course. Because I do so appreciate your talent. Which talent? There's a lot at play and there's a lot at stake and there's a lot that's going on with that layer of betrayal and the fact that you can still be in love with the person who's caused you so much pain. And I'm Angela Regan, who's the, the QC, whose job it is to defend James Whitehouse on this heinous charge. And Angela Regan and Kate Woodcroft are both at the top of their game. <laughs> and this is the, one of the biggest cases for them both. They've, they've worked together before and they have immense respect and admiration for each other. Doesn't it ever wear you down? Oh, I don't know how you can ask me that, when it's obvious that I'm ageing backwards. Like Benjamin Button. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And then you get to see them doing what they do best inside the courtroom, where all those other colours don't matter. And she's lying when she says you raped her. She is. Has anyone ever said no to you, Mr Whitehouse? That's an absurd question. Is it inconceivable that Miss Lytton would say no to you? Of course not, but in this instance, we were both saying yes. In the back of her mind, you know, she's very aware of how, how might this have a knock-on effect in the future. And then there's also the layer of not wanting him to see her weak. Mm. It's like this web of different mm. stories and who's telling the truth. And yeah. it's interesting that they've all got kind of secrets. Yes, you can't second guess anything. Yeah. If maybe you think you can, but you wouldn't be able to. Nothing is uh, two-dimensional. Everything throws up all kinds of questions for themselves and everyone else. Yeah. One of them is lying. You are here to determine the truth. It's an incredibly complex issue. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, I think that's one of the main themes of this show, that it's, these cases aren't yeah. black and white. It's his version of things and her version of things. You know, she's putting yep. herself on the line, her job on the line. Why would she lie? And you know, that for me, that was my job, playing the prosecutor, to really make that hit home. And it's um, my job to show why she is lying. Yeah. Mm. The truth is, Miss Lytton, there was no journey from yes to no in that lift. Because you only ever said yes to Mr. Whitehouse. It's not about winning arguments, but about starting conversation. That's and right, I and yeah. personally, I love watching TV shows that feel relevant, like they're having a relevant conversation, but they're also entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I think it will resonate on so many levels. Yeah. And, and it, it's entertaining, it's uncomfortable, mm. it's disturbing, it's mm. distressing. Mm. It forces you to, mm. to think mm. quite profoundly. Mm -hmm. This is not a sort of cliched courtroom mm. drama. This is a drama for our times, mm. for the times we are in right now. Has the jury reached a verdict on which you were all agreed? Yes. 
Will the defendant please rise? Do you find the defendant, James Whitehouse, guilty or not guilty on the count of rape? <laughs> 